lots of big stories breaking over the last couple of days about this alleged snub uh, from the senior members of the British monarchy regarding, some might say, the invisible children of Harry and Meghan, that is Prince Archie and Prince Lily. Now, as I've often said here on the show, I've really been baffled by the fact that they held out so long in order to retain those titles, a title that apparently Meghan didn't really hold too much on, and yet she's clung on to her title like a raft in an ocean. Always wants to be billed as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Couldn't wait to get the title, couldn't wait to monetize it and use it. And then, of course, she hung out for the Prince and Princess titles. Now, nothing wrong with that. Those two children look innocent enough to me. But as a lot of people pointed out, oh, it was rather cruel that senior members didn't want to address their birthday, particularly Princess Lily. And what's interesting there, as we told you, is that was the deal. That was what they requested, according to a very good source and as ever allegedly. But why is the bigger reason for the children hidden away missing, of course? We never see them, do we? Whichever way you look at it, the only time you ever get to see those children is really when it benefits, say, Meghan Markle or indeed Prince Harry. Do you remember this snatch picture taken on a Zoom chat with a friend that miraculously got revealed on a very big royal day over here? Of course, diverting attention, some people might say. Now, what's interesting also is that Meghan, as we now know, has signed up to a mega new agency. Tough call for them, let me tell you. I don't know how they're going to rebrand someone that really does have quite a negative impact over here, particularly in the United Kingdom. We're told time and time again that they are very popular with the American public, but I fail to see that after the NYC debacle. And as we saw, of course, Meghan and Harry were very keen to make sure that their children were seen for the very first time, sometime for senior members of the British monarchy to actually see pictures of their children. That's how bad it's truly got. You will recall that they paraded them, bath time, uh, birthday parties, everything went into their Netflix documentary. But after all, as Meghan said, wouldn't it be better to hear our stories from the people that have actually lived it? Well, that's right. And for money, you got to see the children. Now, of course, their new agency, and as ever we have to say allegedly, are advising that the children could be the absolute connection back to, shall we say, favourable press. Hence the reason they're very selective about when and if and how the children will re-emerge in some kind of, well, shall we say, at home spread, looking like the devoted mom, that sort of thing. Busy working mom, putting in one hour a week for that charitable cause. You know, the one that we read about in the papers. Fascinating stuff. So if you are wondering what's happened to Princess Lily and Prince Archie, they will be making a return as and when they've decided the strategy of which best and how the children should be featured. Of course, they will all say this is about privacy. And as we've seen with the Prince and Princess of Wales, they're more than happy to show the world their children, all three of them. And what a delight Prince Louis turned out to be alongside Charlotte and George. George is getting to that age, though. He doesn't want to be a child anymore. You notice that. But back to, of course, Archie and Lily. When they will be seen, it must be very strange for them because seemingly they've been kept away from the public gaze. But once again, if you look at Harry and Meghan, and this is without sort of malice, only times we see them are when there's something attached or indeed a diversion for good publicity. So whichever their new agency are thinking, planning what to do, I think it will take more than two children to change the course of this negative PR. But of course, again, with Harry and Meghan, they'll do things simply their own way. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.